Hana. God has been so, so faithful, especially in this part of the world. Whether you like it or not, our God is a faithful God. Whether you don't see it, I, I, I don't know if, if you understand it. The world has gone through a tough, as in I've never seen, no one has ever seen these times, at a, a, a time like this before. But God has been faithful. But God is still God. We worship you for who you are. We worship you for who you are. We worship you. We worship you, Jesus. Now, never Hannah. You know, I, I, I just feel like singing on and on and on, on, on. But we'll come back to the world quickly. We'll come back to the music quickly. In, in, in three, four minutes. Now, let me share a brief word with you. A brief word. Praise God, everybody. Praise God, everybody. Hallelujah. Okay, um, put me on the key of G. You know, um, like we have seen um, in, in the recent times, so much has happened everywhere. I don't know if it, if it has affected anybody. We all knew, right? We all know about it, right? Okay, so it's, it's, it's been an, a, a terrifying time, a time of fear, a time of um, lack, a time of want, a time of um, just anything, name it. Okay, but still, in everything, it is God's faithfulness. The Bible says in Lamentation chapter 3, it is because of his, his, his mercies that we are not consumed because his, his compassion does not fail. Amen. Amen, somebody. So, so um, I want to share briefly. I, I, there's no topic, okay? In the book of Matthew chapter 14, something significant happened. Jesus um, uh, is our role model. He's our savior to the glory of God. He's... He's our Lord and personal Savior. Um, so I, you watching over there, I, I don't know. But then I, I can't help it than to sing. I can't help it than to serve Jesus. As for me and my household, as for me and the entire the new soul, we will serve the Lord. As for me and everything within me, we will serve the Lord. Everything within me. Everything. So, so um, it's a popular story. It's a popular a very popular story in John chapter 14 I will, I'll take it from verse 22 okay I, I want to I, I want to I want to um, I want to um, I want to hit seven points quickly so I'll just read down quickly or somebody that has, that has a Bible should quickly read for us read quickly read quickly Matthew chapter 14 go with me from verse 22 said and straight away Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship and to go before him onto the other side while he sent the multitude away now this was immediately after the um the miracle of the feeding of the 5,000 or basically we might call it the 8,000 or 10,000 because only 5,000 men were counted besides women and children okay so 23 and bible says and when he had sent the multitude away he went up into a mountain apart to pray and when the evening was come he was there alone i think i would like to still hear you a little on the background okay and in the fourth watch night jesus went unto them walking on the sea so at the night that was about 3 a.m to say in the midnight he went to meet catch up with his disciples that he said he sent ahead of him before now something um, happened. We all know the story, right? Right? Yeah. I, I can't hear anybody. We all know the story, right? Yeah. So, so he, he sent them ahead, but then he went ahead of them. And then you know what happened? When Peter saw him walking on the sea, right? We know the whole story. Yeah. Now, maybe you might not have known or you might have read severally and you did not get the, 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 the words especially in a time like this. Now, the Bible says in, 20, in 28, and Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me to come unto thee on the water. And 29, and he said, come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid. And what? He began to sink. He cried out, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hands and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith where else did thou doubt now this is a popular story everybody knows but I, I want to draw out seven things quickly in the next two minutes seven things seven significant things that happened right here the first thing when we come back to verse 22 the bible says jesus asked his disciples to go over right 
because so that he can send away the multitude. Now, before the storm arose, Jesus sent his disciples to go. So sometimes we face storms in our lives, regardless whether Jesus sends us or not. So you might be on the walk, you might be on um, a, a purpose given by God, you might be walking in your purpose with God, and still there will be storm. There will be storm, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So Jesus sent them before the storm arose. Now, look at 24. But the, but, but the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. The devil will always come, like the devil came this year, especially at the children of God. The devil came, as we had to the children of God. The devil will always come, contrary. They were heading somewhere, but the Bible says, the wind came contrary to them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So the devil will always come contrary to you. Take note of that. Jesus said in, in, in John chapter 16, verse 33, he said, you, you, you little children, I've said this that you may have joy in me. He said, in this world, you will have tribulations. You will have tribulations. Be of good cheer because I have overcome the world. So there will always be troubles. Now, that's point number one. Then point number two, 25. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled. It is a spirit and cried out. Fear is always part of the journey. It is okay to be afraid. It is okay to be afraid. But it is not okay to remain afraid. Are you with me? Now, the, 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 the pandemic came. Every one of us was afraid. At some point, some people took, took courage. No, it's not possible. It will not be. Not for me. Not for my family. But then we are, we, are about the, we are about seeing the end of it. In fact, it's already over in the name of Jesus. So, and then, now look at Peter. This same Peter. I love Peter so much. He said, he said, Lord, if it be thou, ask me to come. That's when they saw Jesus coming. Now, the third point is that most times we don't, we are not on our own. It is God that will still ask us. And Jesus said, come. And then what happened? The Bible said, Peter came down from the boat and did what? walked on water point number four even in your storms you still have the ability to walk on water yeah. even in the storms there is still ability in you to do the impossible even in the midst of the challenges you still have the abilities in you so peter came down because the master have said come come it was an, an express instruction from the lord yeah, yeah. seeing the lord is walking on water so i i have the ability to walk on water too yeah. so peter said master should i she said come so and Bible says, when he came down, he walked on water. So it wasn't Jesus alone that walked on water. Yeah. Trindy. Peter walked on water. So when people say the only one that walked on water, no. Peter walked on water. But then look at what happened. The Bible says, when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid. Now what happened? And beginning to sink. So immediately fear came in. Peter began to sink. Okay, I will dwell here a little more. Now, many times we forget who sent us. We forget that we are not all by ourselves in the storms, in the midst of scarcity, in the midst of lack. We forget who has asked us to go. Now, you didn't, you didn't come to this earth for your own self or by your own self. He said to Jeremiah, before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. Even before the earth was formed, the Bible says he has already predestined us. He has called us by name. So you are not all by yourself. So many times we we'll come to this point in our lives, we we'll believe we are everything is only me. Then we we'll begin to complain and we forget about who, who, who is with us. In Romans chapter eight, it says, "If God be for us, who can be against?" It's, it's, it's so easy. It's so easy to say, but then until you find this this word, the Bible Jesus said, "The word that speaks to you, that spirit, and they are life." Until you find the life in the word, it will not work. You might just know this word talking to you. You might, just, you might just be saying to your mind, but then it will not work until you find. So Peter saw the wind boisterous. He forgot the focus, looking onto Jesus, the author. He forgot who he was looking upon. He, he forgot that Jesus said, Come. And then he became afraid. Immediately he began to sing. Now I'll, I'll take you back to the Old Testament. I don't know if you know the story of, of, of El Elisha and, and, and his servants. In um, the second Kings chapter 6, or there about, when, they, when the Philistines they, 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 they encompassed Israel. Uh, by the night with chariots and then the servant came by morning and said ah, uh, man of God look at the chariots everywhere what are we going to do and then he looked at the servant <laughs> and I prayed Lord open his eyes that he may see and the Bible says when he prayed the Lord opened his eyes no 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 and he saw those that are with us 
he saw chariots, not a chariot, many chariots with of fire. <laughs> you don't know who is with you. So, and, and, and then, look at, he was afraid of mere ordinary. But then when the Lord opened his eyes, he saw those that are with us. The host of angels. The Lord of hosts himself. Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah, he is always there. Now, in the midst of the storm, Jesus was upon the water. Jesus was in the storm. So why do we forget so soon that Jesus is always present with us in the storm? And then we, we let things, we let common finance. Bible says, silver and gold. The earth is the Lord's. We let things bother us. And we forget the calling. And some of us even stray away. Now I tell you, if you understand Jesus is with you, you will not be afraid. Now, peradventure, yes, yes, I, I'm running off now. Peradventure, you must have fallen. You must have failed. You must have, uh, 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 you, 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 fear has gripped you. And then you are falling, you are sinking. No, 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 there is a solution. Now, record properly. The 16 and burning out. When fear comes in, when you start sinking, when things go wrong, because when fear comes in, everything, naturally, even fear has a way of increasing your blood pressure. Worries have a way of making you, making you die. Some people die because of too much of worries. Because you forget who, who you are with. You, you, you forget we are with the king of kings. You know, he sits in the heavens. The earth is his footstool. You can imagine how big. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So why do we forget so soon? You will not let me down. No, 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 no. Hold on. Be, 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 before we begin to sing now, something happened. He said, when he saw the wind, what happened? He began to sing. Now, here's the solution. Pride, whether you are sinking already, he said, he cried out. So somebody need to cry out tonight. The Lord, save me. Lord, help me. That is all. But I meant to, Jesus was barely looking at him. He was sinking. And, and then, okay, you are sinking, okay? Uh -huh. But so he cried out. And Jesus immediately stretched forth his hands. So you don't wait until you go down the river. You don't wait until you go down the grave before you cry out. Now that you still have breath, cry out, Lord, help me. He has never failed. Since I was born, David said, and now I'm getting I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor beg for bread. I am the Lord. He said, he said I change it not. I'm not a man that I should lie. Neither am I the son of man that I should repent. If he cares about the best of the earth, about the sparrow, you are, you, you, you are his image. He just said, Lord, help me, Lord. Help me, and and, and it, didn't, it, it didn't end there. Now that is then the seven point, and um and when he got into the sea, the Bible says the Bible got it, and uh, and and then, oh excuse me, oh Father, well, thank you, and then verse two, and when they were come into the ship, the wind ceased. So when you cry out, Jesus, help me! Don't leave him; take him with you. <laughs> you don't leave Jesus. <laughs> when when you need. A, a thousand naira, and then he provides. Don't leave him there yeah. because tomorrow you, you need a million right. and you you need him with you. Yeah. So he's the only one that sees that will calm the storm. Yeah. So when they were coming, the, the wind ceased. So you need Jesus when he helps you get him along. And then the final thing, the seventh thing I'm pointing out to you is the Bible recorded that, and then and then and and they that were in the ship came and worshipped him, saying of a truth. That so when God does this thing, do not forget his worship. Yeah. That part is very, very important. Never forget his worship. Never forget his worship. So I, I see somebody sinking in his finances. We'll be praying in, in, in one or two minutes. Nigeria is at a sinking spot right now. <laughs> I, I, I don't care. I don't want to talk about what is going on, but I, 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 we know he's yeah. sinking. All we need to do just cry out, Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Jesus, shape of my soul. One thing that I know, I love this song. He will not let me down. Can Abraham Savior, shape of my soul. One thing that I know. Okay, you will not let me down. This passage says, You will not let me down. I am sure you will not let me down. Just one thing, one thing that 
I know, I don't know about you, but I know you will not let me down. So when I say, Lord, help me, you will not let me down. In the midst of the storm, you will not let me down. God, it's one thing that I know. So we'll sing this song one time and we're going to pray. You will not let me down. Come, everybody, sing. Jesus. Father, I will thank you. One thing that I know, you will not let me down. Never had it back. Savior. Thank you. 